Hey guys. All right, so I'm going on a date night tonight, so I gotta do my makeup. I am wearing a little bit of makeup because I had to go run some errands, so we're gonna first remove it. Let's take my Olay cleansing wipes. They work all right. I wanna get those face halo things though. Let's moisturize. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics, sorry, It Confidence in a Clean, just a little bit to re-moisturize my skin. Just like this much. Don't ever forget the neck. Your neck ages too. So, I'm gonna take my All Henriksen, All Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, so I just decided because Supernatural is ending and I need to move on with my life that I was gonna officially decide to start Vampire Diaries. Nobody else out there watches it or anything. I mean, do you, do you think it's worth it? I just watched the first episode and uh, I mean, it's not terrible. I, I can see myself watching it. I just wanna know anybody else's opinion. How'd you feel about the show? Like, are you happy with how it ended? Should I waste my time? Because I mean, that's a lot of seasons. What is there, like eight seasons? I mean, I'm gonna, I'll do it if it's worth it. Don't mind my hair, I'm gonna curl it later. Okay, so our face is prepped. I'm gonna let all of that sink in, and while we're doing that, I'm gonna do my brows. So y'all know. Then start with soap brows, my Dr. Bronner's, and my Wet n Wild Coconut. Oh, I think I sprayed it too fast. Because I can't find it. There it is. My um, JH49 brush with the angled one side and the spoolie on the other. And just brush these. Oh, there's a lash right there. Brush these bitches up. I'm eating all these. You're eating all your M&Ms. Yep. Well, don't eat all of them. They were mine. I know, but then you gave them to me. I didn't give you all of them. I didn't give you all of them. I just let you have some. Uh, I'm eating a lot right now. Okay, well maybe you should stop. You're gonna get a belly ache. How many can I have? How about you can have five more and then we're done. How about six more? I said five. my Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. You guys know. And I believe, what did I get this in again? Light Brown. If you guys can hear her in the background, there's not much I can do, so get, get over it. Chantilly Light One, 
the um, soft matte and I'm going to take again this brush that I have. I'm just going to clean up underneath. I'm gonna take my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Blonde and use that to kind of set the brows a little bit more. Add some dimension. You guys know. I mean, they're not really gonna go anywhere anyways because of the soap but it doesn't hurt to make sure. Especially when I'm going on date night and most of the time I'm gonna be wearing a freaking mask. So this up needs to be on point. Okay, so everything's set pretty well into my face. So we're gonna go ahead and prep now. Let's see, I think I wanna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer because this stuff is so great. A uh, great. <laughs> you guys already said that. <laughs> and uh, I feel. I think it works really well. Get on my nose. Get all the way down here. Because you guys know the new test of makeup is uh, if it can handle the mask. What's up, bruh? Okay. Okay, this is my video now. <laughs> okay, so face is set. Let's conceal the few spots that I have. Um, we're going to take that same brush we used earlier, just kind of wipe off that shade because we want to do a shade that's closer to my skin. We're going to use the Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer in G10 and just put this over the few spots, like these two spots and like I have a few down here. I'm just going to spot conceal. And then we're just going to leave it there for a little bit. So I don't want to be known as the person that talks shit, but um, I do have a question. I know that in my whatever video, I mentioned like there's a feud going on with all the different uh, whatever the fuck we are. And I also have a question. So Gen Z, is all about having like a little slit in their eyebrows. Um, why? What does it do? Why are you doing it? It doesn't look good. Um, who started that? And who decided that, yeah, that's a great trend, let's hop on that. I just, I mean, I always thought that people wanted brows and now all of a sudden they're separating their brows i don't know is that a, being a bitch i don't understand i just i just don't get it so if somebody can just like let me know and i'll just continue over here living in my fucking millennial millennial world where apparently we did everything wrong even though it wasn't us so okay all right i'm gonna take fenty uh the contouring stick in amber gonna go ahead and contour just a little bit I'm sure that nobody's gonna like watch my videos now because I keep saying shit about Gen Z 
but I'm not even trying to talk shit. I just like genuinely have a question. But like, why are the people? Why are they doing that? I'm not trying to talk shit on anyone. I just honestly want to know what that's about because everybody's doing it. And I mean, I'm not tempted in any way to do that. I enjoy my brows being, you know, together. I don't like them being separated, but I just have a quick, I just need like a lesson, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna take, ooh, let's get that wet again. All right, I'm gonna take my beauty blender, which I just had to re-wet a little bit, and I used the Wet n Wild Coconut, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do all this, so let's do it. Oh, I forgot to set the one. Do I have any left on there? I think I do. Alright. Wait, did I actually forget to set it or did I? <laughs> Alright, well probably forgot to set it because I forgot what I was saying right now, so. We'll just go with that. Now, I'm using cream products mostly because, again, my face is going to be in a mask most of the time and I don't want to keep wasting product, so I probably won't do much more uh, like to cover up my skin. That's why I want to do the spot conceal and let those dry. Um, I am going to take my Armani uh, Luminous Silk Concealer in 3. This has my concealer. Wow, I just put that in my eyeball. Right here, and cover up my, you know, my oldness. <laughs> I know, I'm not old, guys. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna go in with that. Is that attractive? You guys are watching me bounce this on my eye. Like, look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and set. And for that, I think I'm going to use... I don't want to keep using the same powders with you guys because I feel like I'm just start getting bored, so... Let's go ahead and use the Fenty Powder in Butter to set my under eyes. Creases. Again, don't need a lot. Just enough. God, this does smell so good. Okay, we'll go ahead and take just a little bit of this and set the rest of the areas of my face. Like my nosey. Because again, that affects, is affected by the mask. I think my base looks pretty good, actually. Except for these fucking spots that won't cover. And they're like right in the line of like highlighter. So, that's always good. I think I'm actually gonna take... The... The Luxie 660 brush. 
and the Jaclyn Cosmetics Dewy Luminous Powder. And I'm just gonna kind of set right here because I don't know if I'm gonna use a highlighter just because I have those pimples on this side. And this is actually pretty good for using it as a highlighter. It's so pretty. She honestly fucking hit a home run with these powders and her highlights, honestly. I, uh, I was one of the people who bought her lipsticks, you know, when that whole thing happened. And I was just so sad because I had supported her and I always bought her stuff because I thought she was so amazing. And then she dropped those lipsticks and it was just the biggest fail. But I mean, she learned, she's come back and she came out with these amazing products and I don't think anyone's bad about it. I'm not. Gonna have to try and cover that again. It's driving me nuts, but this looks really, really nice. I think I'm just gonna do a shimmer just because those are super easy. And I think I'm gonna do what's this one? The Natasha Denona, the liquid eyeshadow, the chrome chroma crystals in a zone. Also get out my this brush, which is a BMX 430 crease brush, and I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the edges. But we'll take this. More often than not, when I place these products, I don't want to fuck with them a lot, and that's the same with like the Stila ones. I don't think this one drops a lot of. Um, of the glitter like the Stila ones do, but I don't exactly want to tempt it, especially since my base is done. Because for some reason I did my base first. Alright, so I'm going to take this while it's still drying and just go around the edges. Not going anywhere else, because I don't think I want to do much. You okay, Brielle? Pretty, very girly, very easy. I might put a little bit in the corner though, just in the outer corner, just to add a little bit of dimension, like a darker color, which I do have, but they're the steel ones, so. Pretty much where I lay those, they'll be there to stay. Also have to worry about these because they crease a little bit. Alright, let's blend this out a little bit. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and little circles back and forth. That's gonna be the easiest way to blend this shit out. They're honestly such a beautiful colors. I only have this one and I really want to get some more, but I haven't because I don't go anywhere. Me and my husband just now started doing the thing where we're gonna try and go out on a, oh, that was too much. I'm gonna try and go out on a date every single night, every week because we, uh, we honestly, the last like five years have been so chaotic, you know, raising Brielle getting pregnant, having another baby, him switching jobs, uh, always being gone for work, me always home with the kids. We honestly just have not had a lot of time for each other. And we want to fix that. So we're putting in the effort 
and we are trying to date each other again, which I think is great. I think a lot of people need to do that because one thing that I've learned, me and Jordan have been together since I was 20 and I'm turning 29. So we've been together for a really long time. And it's easy after a while to just kinda be stuck, which I think we have been. So we, we wanna bring the romance back. So we're dating. We're dating again, which we should, you should. We're doing what we can to bring it back. How do you think this looks? This honestly is so pretty. I have glitter all over my hands. I'm messing with it. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to mess with this too much because the reason I kept going back in to fix it is because it was like cracking. So we're going to stop doing that. I'm going to take the Hoover Bonzer by Benefit. I'm going to use this on my bottom lash. Just to have some dimension. And I might very, very carefully try and put some of this in the crease. Everything's better with glitter. Let's just try right here. Uh, okay, there it is. I'm gonna fuck it up. Because it keeps cracking. I don't think it's old. I think I, I just got it. Let's um, let's go ahead and take my uh, Sigma E40 and just try. I know I do like a lot of the same looks, but it's not, I'm not doing makeup to do it on anyone else. You know, I'm doing it on myself. So I do makeup that looks good on me. And it's a lot of bronze and sparkle and browns and warm tones because that's what makes my eyes pop. So. I do think I want to do some more colorful looks here soon, but when I'm going out on a date, I want to do what I know I look good in because obviously, hello, I want to look good. I want to look freaking hot. Okay, um, I think we're going to just call it on the eyes for now and do some eyeliner, and I was thinking about doing... A fun eyeliner. I have this one. If I can find it. Is this it? No. Oh, there it is. Okay. This one is like honestly so great. I love it so much. Okay. It is the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On in Deep End. back in with the hula bronzer and I'm gonna take my Morphe M432 brush and just take it right up. Hey y'all just had to drop in real fast I didn't uh, realize until I was editing what my child is doing in the background and it's hilarious so enjoy I'm gonna go in 
go ahead and take my Morphe big pencil brush, I guess. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty bronzer in in the sun. We're gonna take that up against the bottom lash line as well. I want it to be like kind of soft, but I want it to still look smoky and pretty. Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I'm gonna take that lash line brown. Black, it's like a, it's not a black, but it's like a dark, dark, dark brown. And I'm gonna take my M432, stick that in there and go right up against the bottom lash line again. I think my wings match. Much better, kinda. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with this in the end of sun and smoke it out. Yeah, there we go. I don't like having like crazy smoked out lash lines, but I mean, I want the makeup to show up, you know? Like, if it doesn't show up, do you even have it on your face? I'm gonna do some bronzer, and I think I'm gonna use the Too Faced Sweet Pea bronzer. I'm gonna use my JH13. I'm gonna use this one as like a blush bronzer because it has like the pink in it. It's really pretty. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills and MYZ highlighter. Is that the name of it? Is the MYZ highlighter? I'm just gonna go ahead right here. I just wanna do it back further so that I'm not hitting this fucker. I'm gonna take it on here and then just use it to blend that out. That looks so good. And then up here. Okay. We will go back in with this brush. I don't like how it looks like there's two separate things on my face. I need the, the blush to break it up. Good. Right, I'm going to take this uh, highlighter and I'm also going to place it with my pinky in my inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Bam! They're like a little spidery, but whatever. I was wearing mascara before I put on new mascara, so they're mixed. <laughs> it's a party in my room. Um, I'm not gonna do lips right now. Maybe I should just do lips anyways. Because my date's not until later, but I'm bored and so I'm just doing it now. Show you this. I don't think I wanna. No, I don't want that. 
let's do a new but i'm sure you guys are sick of using watching me use patrick ta so let's do this one this one is the mac lip pencil in whirl i'm just gonna go ahead and draw and fill in my entire lips with this color and that's gonna be my lip color like your face like my face <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my lips i like wore stuff and they're all chapped all right i'll be right back i can't do this and pay attention to you guys so yay i'm gonna take my highlighting brush that i used earlier and i'm just gonna go ahead and go over them just to add a little bit of a highlight to the middle Maybe they won't look as bad as they do. I don't, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and set the face. And since I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Pro Glow, or oh, Ultra Glow, I'm sorry, I'm gonna use the setting spray also. I feel like it'll work better when I use the same products in compilation with each other. <sighs> I wasn't breathing and I felt like all of a sudden I needed to breathe. All right, so this is my makeup completed. Uh, I think it's very pretty, very flirty, very date night appropriate. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of the completed hair and makeup together right now. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.